uh, Xander, what was it about Columbia that set them apart? Uh, it was really came down to the coaching staff and uh, the academics. You know, football is only going to last four years, so uh, you know it's the next four that you know was really drove my decision and. Yeah. A lot of kids dream about going to an Ivy League school. How does it feel to know that you can get that type of education? Uh, you know, it definitely doesn't guarantee uh, that I'll get the degree, but, you know, it's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication. But, yeah, it's, good. It, it's a good feeling. Uh, I remember covering Luke Payton at Burke's Catholic, and yeah. he played tight end at Columbia. Mm -hmm. Did you get a chance to talk to him at all, and what did he say? Yeah, I mean, we talked to him a little bit on the phone. Um, and then I also saw him there on the visit last weekend and you know he just gave me like the ins and outs of the, the university and you know just told me like a little bit about the coaches and you know what he likes about the university and uh, yeah so he, he gave me a little inside stuff. How much did your parents stress academics as you were growing up? Uh, it was always you know get good grades be a good kid all that yeah. stuff but you know as a kid you never realize like you might be able to go to an Ivy League Ivy League school and uh, I'm just happy that they pushed me academically as a as a kid. Your offers at the D1 level came in a, a little bit late in, mm -hmm. in the process. Was it nerve-wracking? Was it frustrating? How, how did you handle everything? Well, it was definitely frustrating because you know there's tons of coaches that said I, I'd be able to do it but not many schools were pulling the trigger mm -hmm. um, so it was definitely frustrating but I just kept my head down and just kept grinding and you know hopefully you know, some school will take a chance on me, no matter what level. Um, but yeah, I was, I was thankful for all the opportunities I had. You said about a zillion records here. Yeah. <laughs> what are you most proud of? Uh, I'm most proud of our team. You know, we, we won the first district playoff game in school history. And, you know, our class is the winningest class in school history. Um, not a losing season in all four years. So I'm most proud of our team and, you know, the way our our coaches like prepared us each and every week. Um, yeah, we we really change the culture, and you know I think it's here to stay. Uh, where do you think the bar is now for Hamburg football? I mean, you guys definitely raised it. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely high. Uh, yeah, I think, we, I think we raised it pretty pretty well. Uh, Charles Shepard is staying close to him, going to Kutztown University. What what makes him such a good player? He's explosive. You know, he's tough. He's got that. You know that edge to him where he's like, you're not gonna beat me. And so, I mean, yeah, he's a good kid and he'll do well over there with those guys at, at Kutztown. You wouldn't want to wrestle him, would you? No, no. <laughs> yeah, I would, would, I, would get hurt. I would get hurt in that wrestling match. <laughs> uh, there were only eight seniors on your football team this year. How tight knit was that group? Oh yeah, it was really tight. You know, we, we played with each other since kindergarten flag football, so. Yeah, that last game really hurt when we couldn't play with each other anymore. But yeah, we it was it was a close group. During the season, you told me the Eagles were going to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen when they play the Chiefs? Oh, they're going to kill the Chiefs. <laughs> I mean, 49ers, who even are they? I mean, what do you think the just... score is going to be in the Super Bowl? I got like a 30. Uh, let's go 37-14. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Another Maybe 37-21, something like that. All yeah. right. Uh, who are your favorite NFL quarterbacks? Uh, probably my favorite right now is Josh Allen. You know, just the way that he plays. You know, mm -hmm. I kind of resemble my game after his. But, yeah, he's probably my, he's probably my only favorite. And um, your dad mentioned you've, you've dropped some weight since the season. Yeah. So I want to try and put some back on you. Uh, Cheese steaks, wings, or pizza? Wings. No <laughs> doubt wings. Really? Yeah. I have a goal that every state I go to, I'm going to eat wings. So my goal is every 50 states have wings. <laughs> so I probably only got like 15 knocked off, if that. So Now, do you also mention you have a haircut coming up. Is yeah. that true or false? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, can't get, I can't get it too long or it gets annoying. So right now it's a little annoying. Uh, I hope you tip well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last thing, favorite song right now? Ooh, favorite song. Hmm. I like a, I like a wide variety of music. I'd I put it that way, but um, hmm. Put me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> I don't ask just cupcakes here. 
Favorite song. Man, I don't even know. Well, how about favorite artist? Ooh, I mean, I like Rod Wave. He's probably my favorite, but uh, I like the country guys. You know, I like okay. Toby Keith and Randy Travis and those guys. Nice. So probably one of those songs out of those three. Gotcha. I don't know. I don't know. I have a favorite though. <laughs> well, appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck at Columbia. Thank you. Appreciate it.